Last week, we introduced you to Kevin Annett, a former minister who was kicked out of the United Church for shining a light on the atrocities of residential schools. He wrote a book on the subject called Murder by Decree. Kevin is back with us again this week. Kevin, for many, the news of finding the bodies of over 200 children is hard to comprehend. Many of us are shocked and, of course, saddened, but you've been working on uncovering this since 1995. What was your initial reaction as a pastor when you heard from the eyewitnesses over the years? When, when the church uh, fired me, um, they went to my wife and offered to pay for her divorce, and uh, they arranged to get my kids taken from me in family court. And when I saw that level of kind of collusion going on, the courts, the guy, I knew there was a lot they were covering up, but I thought if they could do that to me, one of their own ministers, imagine what they could do to some native kid. You know, of course they're gonna kill them. And they're just viewing them as non-humans. And that's, they, you know, people can suppress the knowledge all they like, but it'll come out one day. It's like any trauma that somebody faces, it's gonna come out. And it's just unfortunate that the government is suppressing more than they're revealing. Naturally, their lawyers are telling them they've got to protect themselves, but it's time we took this out of the hands of politicians and lawyers and, and let the people themselves know. If you have, talk to most Canadians, white Canadians, they want to do the right thing, the well-intentioned people. They just didn't know these things. And, you know, it's, they're being discouraged all the time. Even in the native world on the reservations, the, the chiefs that are all government funded, they've been told you can't look into these things. They were told that um, years ago. I've even had people who are at meetings with the church, between the churches and the top uh you know, native organizations, and they made a deal in the late 90s saying, we will give you money for lawsuits about physical and sexual abuse, provided you never talk about dead children or mass graves, and they all agreed. And that went on for, that deal continued. Now, for some reason, now it's changing, and I think it's just another maneuver going on, but they made, they agreed not to, they threatened their own people never to talk about these graves. Kevin, others have investigated these residential school atrocities, and in your book, Murder by Decree, you share the findings of Dr. Peter Bryce. Can you tell us about the work of Dr. Bryce? Peter Bryce was an uh, Ontario health uh, officer who was hired by Duncan Campbell Scott, who was head of Indian Affairs in 1907, because there was a lot of criticism coming about the conditions in these places. So they expected uh, Dr. Bryce to go and give the usual kind of whitewash. He did the opposite. He actually said in the famous quote from his uh, book, which I've reprinted in murderbydecree.com, he wrote a book after about it called A National Crime. He said, I believe the conditions are being deliberately created to spread infectious disease. Over half these children are dying. So he described a practice in all of the schools where healthy children were taken and made to sleep in the same dorm as children dying of tuberculosis, and then they were never treated. They just died off basically through germ warfare. And we have eyewitnesses describing that. We produced a documentary film in 2007 called Unrepentant. It's up online. And we have over a dozen people describing that, how they would, the nuns would force them to play and sleep with the kids having, who had tuberculosis. We even have a picture of children in the, uh, on the Sarsi Reservation in Alberta in the school sitting in a classroom with bandages around their head and it says uh, they have open tubercular sores. Well, you know, in, in the white world, when you have tuberculosis back then before penicillin, you were rushed off to, an, to uh, a sanitarium. But the children, uh, there's a different standard with Indians and we we're deliberately spreading disease to kill them. And that's how so many of them died. Now, Dr. Bryce published his book in 1922, so here we are 100 years later, and these incidents are still lacking proper investigation. So do you believe there should still be an international inquiry? Absolutely. And in fact, we did such an inquiry uh, back in 2012, 2013. The verdict of that was that the, the Crown the government of Canada, Catholic, Anglican, United Churches, the Vatican, in all these agencies are guilty of deliberate genocide. And it's one of the reasons Pope Benedict stepped down uh, back in 2013, because this stuff began to get surfaced. And it, the Catholic Church ran over half of these places. And the evidence is just overwhelming. It's not a, a problem of lack of evidence. It's where do you take it? When the agencies that did it have been exonerated, they've been illegally indemnified, by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, the kind of misnamed commission where people weren't even allowed to name names. They couldn't take down as evidence any 
description of a crime or a dead child. It was a total whitewash. So we need a genuine inquiry, but it's going to have to come from the people themselves and from supporters in other countries because, you know, Canada is just getting away with murder. That was Kevin Annett, author of Murder by Decree.